Hello friends, in this video we shall see how we can build the URL dynamically in our Flask application. For this purpose, the Flask API contains a function called as URL for. It is a very useful function to construct the URL in a dynamic fashion. This function accepts certain uh, you know, arguments. One is the function for which you want to find out the URL and the other is the number of keyword, you know, one or more than one keyword arguments may be provided to it. So it accepts the name of the function as the first argument which is mandatory or compulsory and if it is needed then certain keyword arguments may be provided which may be used to form the uh, URL dynamically. It allows you to change the URL at one in one go without having to remember the URLs. The, otherwise, you will have to remember the entire URL. Here, by just using the keyword arguments, you can form the URL in a dynamic manner. Another advantage of this URL for function is that you will be able to handle the escaping of some special characters especially special characters uh, with unicode data very transparently can be it, it can be done very transparently so that you don't have to you don't have to as a developer have uh, you don't have to de uh, deal uh, with those unicode characters and another advantage of url for function is that if your application is placed outside the outside the uh, you know root url then url function will automatically uh, you know do it for you so all these are some of the advantages of this url function what we shall do we shall write a small python script in which url for function is used and let us see how the behavior or, or output of that program is seen in front of us so let us demonstrate the example in front of you in this example we shall see how to build the url dynamically using the function called as url for which is defined in the flask module you also need a function called as redirect the purpose of the redirect function is to redirect the browser from one url to the other url only thing is that the url to be redirected to is to be fetched from or fetched using the url for function so coming back to this code what do we have in this program first of course is this is the flask application object that you have to create then we have defined a url called as slash admin and this url is bound to a view function called as hello admin so if after the server is you know running you give the url as localhost 5000 slash admin then on the browser you should get this message hello admin so this is a fairly simple definition of a url with the help of the root decorator Similarly, there is another URL which is defined as slash guest, but in front of which there is a variable which is mentioned inside the angular brackets. So as a result, what will happen? If you give the URL as localhost 5000 slash guest slash some other strings, let us say MVL. So that MVL will be picked up as the value of this variable which is mentioned in the angular brackets here the name of the variable is guest and that will be passed as a keyword argument to the mapped view view function called as hello guest so when this hello function uh, hello guest function is executed on your browser you should get a message hello this is a placeholder percent s the value of this variable will be substituted here so hello mvl as guest will be our 
you know expected out now this is the straightforward way of calling a view function which is associated with the url now what we are doing is we will be dynamically fetching the url associated with either hello admin or hello uh, you know guest depending on what is the value of the name variable which is mentioned in the third url so we have a third url mentioned or defined in this program slash user slash name so in the browser suppose if the url given is localhost 5000 slash user slash admin okay so the admin will be the value of this variable name that will be given to the mapped view function hello user so the value value of the name will be admin so this statement will be true so therefore this part will be executed what does it do it will fetch the url for hello admin function which incidentally is this and the mapped function is this so therefore hello admin will be printed but if on the other hand the url given is localhost 5000 slash user slash mvl so the name variable will become mvl the argument to the hello user function will become mvl this condition will not be true so the else part will be executed what does it do it fetches the url for hello guest an additional parameter to this hello url for function is another attribute guest is equal to name in which case this is the mvl so what happens the associated the url becomes this one to be the redirected url will be this and the associated function is again this so the value of guest will be provided to this keyword argument you will get hello mvl as guest so essentially what you are doing you are selecting the url dynamically with the help of the url for function so this is the you know explanation of this code of this flask application now what we will do we will you know execute this program the server will start and then we will open a browser give the url according to this and then see that in first place the hello admin will be displayed and then the execution of the hello guest function will be you know performed so let us see so the python script in which this entire program is written is saved as url building.py i have executed that program the server is running now we shall go to the browser and give the url as slash localhost 5000 slash first we shall see whether just by mentioning admin the result hello admin and the hello mvl as guest these outputs will come and then we will see how the dynamic selection of url and redirection of the browser to the corresponding function takes place So I open the browser and the URL is localhost 5000 admin as you expected hello admin will be printed then I give a URL as hello guest mvl so this will become the variable part of the URL given to the guest function and the output will be hello mvl as guest this is also as per the expected lines now comes the part of the dynamic formation of url so if i have to do that then i write user admin so this becomes the variable part will be picked up by the associated view function hello user admin name is equal to admin condition is true so therefore the hello admin output will be you know dis uh, you know displayed as a result of 
the redirection towards the function associated with the this URL. Okay. And then again, I will do another URL redirection by saying user MVL. Now the condition will not be true. So the else part will be executed. So it will redirect it towards the hello guest function. That's it. So there you see the use of URL for function allows you to form the URL dynamically and the browser can be redirected towards any selected view function. Okay.